G'day, welcome back to the channel. I launched DaVinci Resolve today and I was doing some fusion work. I'm trying to get better at fusion. Anyway, it came up with a new update. So obviously I updated it to the new beta. So we're at DaVinci Resolve 18.5 beta 4. Now, something that really caught my eye in the new beta 4 is per timeline resolve color management. This is really interesting. And this is not something I expected Blackmagic to come out with. Now, what is color management? Color management is tricky to understand, but in the most basic way possible, it's taking your camera footage, putting into Resolve, and then changing it back into what it was shot on the day. Now, I know a lot of people always talk about grading raw footage or raw footage or log footage, but in reality, most colorists, if not all colorists, will always grade from an image that was captured on the day, meaning they will grade, let's say, in a color space of Rec. 709. It's all about getting a footage, putting a resolve, setting up color management to get the best possible start in DaVinci Resolve. So you're not grading from a flat, hard to grade image, you're grading from a nice saturated, nice contrast, and making your footage look like how the camera shot it on the day. So at the moment, we are working in color managed. So we have two timelines here. Me chilling out in my bedroom when I'm making my relight video. And then we have one with this ugly TV where I was gonna do a screen replacement, but never got around to doing it. And then we have another timeline, which is also the same footage. Now, let's say that in this timeline here, I wanted this just to be a standard color management. So I wanted Resolve to figure it all out for me. Fantastic. But maybe in the other timeline, I wanted to make this HDR. So how would I set that up to have two different timelines using different color management. The first thing I tried to do was try and find it in the settings here, so under color management, which I thought it would actually be in, but it turns out if you wanna change your color management to work on two different timelines, all you have to do is come up to the media pool here, find the timeline you're working in, so timeline six here, which is this bad boy here, right click timelines, timeline settings, so then it comes across with all this information. Now you wanna go across to color, then, as you can see, our color science and everything is already set for us, meaning this is using the same settings as our project settings down here. To change this, all you have to do is take use project settings off. Now, this is where you can change your color management and you can do the same for the other one. So we're in timeline, what's this one? So timeline, timeline settings, go across to color, and again, you can change it. Now, I find this really interesting because that means we could be working on the same footage in different timelines, obviously, but in one timeline, you could be grading your footage using HDR, but then the other timeline, you could be using SDR. Now, you could get a completely different image with both different settings, obviously. And I just find it really fascinating that Blackmagic would do something like this. Now, you could do one timeline as all red footage and then set your color management up that way. Or you could do another one with an Ari kind of setup here and then, you know, color grade your footage that way too. Now, in the past, if you didn't want to use that color management on your footage, what you would do in the color page, you'd just come to your footage here and then you'd right click and then you just go bypass color management. But now you have a really flat image. So obviously, if you're using two timelines, you could set this one on a different timeline, grade it differently to this image here. Anyway, I found that really interesting. There are a couple other things that I find quite interesting with this new beta. Now, there are things that I would really like DaVinci Resolve to do or Blackmagic to do and to see. I think I'll make another video about maybe four or five things that I really want to do. One of those things actually in Fairlight, but we'll talk about that in a later video. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Leave a comment below of what you think would be a great new addition to DaVinci Resolve. I think it's coming along nicely. I think they just need to fix up some things, try and get their some of the FX working a little bit faster. They have improved it a bit, but I feel like they could do a lot more. Anyway, leave your comments below. Always interested to know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and have a great day.